Hi, this is Irene, one of the Emergency Ultrasound Fellows from MGH. This is a short tutorial on the basic morphological differences between the normal right ventricle and left ventricle on focused cardiac ultrasound. We'll be focusing primarily on the apical four-chamber view, since this is the view that we typically use to look for evidence of RV strain. The main structures we're looking at here are the right ventricle, left ventricle, right atrium, left atrium, the tricuspid valves, and the mitral valves. One of the main differences between the LV and the RV is that the LV is thicker walled and the RV is thinner walled. Second, the chambers have different shapes. The RV is more triangular than the LV. And third, the RV is normally smaller than the LV. Measuring across the tips of the valves in diastole, a normal ratio of RV to LV is expected to be less than or equal to 0.6. In obtaining this apical four-chamber view, be careful how you rotate the transducer. As you can see, incorrect rotation can lead to incorrect estimates of the RV size. A fourth difference between the RV is, and the LV is where the valves are located. The septal leaflet of the tricuspid valve, shown in green here, is located closer to the apex than the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve, which is located farther from the apex. Fifth, in the normal heart, the major contribution to the apex is from the left ventricle rather than right ventricle. Six, you may also see some echogenicity within the RV chamber. This is because the RV is heavily trabeculated, shown right there. In addition, you may also see some, uh, the moderator band going across the chamber like this. The moderator band carries the right bundle branch across the chamber into the uh, anterior tricuspid papillary muscle. And here's a nice clip of the moderator band seen within the right ventricle. The moderator band differs from things like RV thrombus in that the moderator band tends to go all the way across the chamber, whereas thrombi tend not to go all the way across the chamber like that. And also RV thrombus tends to occur in the setting of abnormal right ventricles. So the top right image here shows a RV thrombus right there, um, and it's in the setting of a dilated right ventricle. The bottom right image right here shown by the arrows shows an irregular thickening of the RV free wall due to metastatic lung cancer. Last but not least, Longitudinal shortening and lengthening of the right ventricle tends to contribute more to the RV stroke volume, so the ventricle moves up and down quite a bit. Unlike the left ventricle where circumferential shortening or squeezing inwards of the ventricle is the primary driver. This up and down movement of the RV is the reason you may come across the use of the tricuspid annular plane systolic excursion, or TAPSI, as a surrogate marker of the RV systolic function. By placing the cursor of M mode along the RV annular plane, you can measure the movement of this annular plane. An excursion of 16 millimeter or more is considered normal. So in summary, these are the seven major morphological differences of the RV. Compared to the left ventricle, the right ventricle is thinner walled. It's more triangular in shape. It is smaller. The tricuspid valve is located closer to the apex than the mitral valves. The right ventricle contributes very little to forming the apex in the normal heart. It has more trabeculations, and you may see the moderator band, which isn't present in the left ventricle. And lastly, it relies on the longitudinal shortening a lot more than it relies on the circumferential shortening. So thanks for watching. Keep checking in back on our website for more tutorials and cases.